Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve another problem from C++ high core rank series. So you can use string stream for a number of operations like you can use for for taking string as a stream or even for string processing it is used a lot. So you can use this left and double arrow operator to store string in string stream object or you can use this operator to fetch data string from string stream object so yeah it helps a lot it is very helpful in string processing let's take an example let me just remove this for now so what i'm what i will do i will i will take a string and i will try to count the number of words that it has let me make a string str there are three words in this string and I now I'm going to create a string string stream object and I'm going to pass it string so it has the string now now if I need to count number of words I need to create a word string so what it I, what I'm going to do I, I'm going to fetch each word a time and increase the count value so for that i need to create count equals to zero now i will make use of while so as i said we have to, we can make use of error operators to fetch the value so we need to fetch it from s to word and while we are able to fetch any word from that string stream object s we are going to update count and at the end we need to print number of words so let me just run this okay let me just remove this for now yeah so we got output three since we are printing the number of words so it has three words so so it was just a warm up kind of thing so that you get to you if you don't know what is string stream you must be now you must be aware how it is used how it can be helpful right let me just reset this so now let's read the question so in this question there is one line n integer separated columns so okay so and one more thing you need to understand that here string stream takes input as a string got it or yeah we can convert it from string to integer integer to string uh, like here you can see in this input is in string format and when we are fetching from string stream object ss it can be fetched in integer or character variable so and we have to make use of this only to solve this problem so in first input we are given a string in this format and we need to print them separately like this got it there is there is one more of data structure we are using from standard template library it's vector integer so if you don't know what it is so for now you can understand it as a, a array that can be resize that is resizable dynamically so it just work as a vector so so it's a signature of parse integer so in main we are taking a string we are par we are passing that string in parse integer and that parse integer is passing or returning a vector of integers or or array of integers if you are just a beginner so and that is just getting printed over here so we just need to write this function so in this parse int we are passing string which contains input in this way right so we have integer and comma also which is a character so what we can do is first of all we also need to pass it as vector integer so we let's make a vector integer so it can store integers right so we need to pass it at the end now we can make string stream object 
as and pass it string so now this string stream object has the string and from in that string we have character right now we it's in word okay or we can say character but while fetch we are fetching we can convert it to integer or character so let's take two variables i for integer and character for c in i we will be storing the numbers and in c we will be storing that comma so we can make use of while loop and from using while we can fetch values from s to we can make use of operator to fetch value from s to i integer okay so while it has integer we are fetching it or while it has integer numbers so now you can understand how it can be very useful or convenient to do number of operations when it comes to parsing so while it has integer we are just storing it in vector so we can make use of pushback to store it right integer and after integer we have a character that is comma so we also need to fetch it otherwise is it this while loop will just end taking first integer so let me just take c and c got it so i hope this will work fine let's just run this okay we are still getting an error okay we are taking input we need to fetch it from string right okay so i think this should work fine yep let me just submit this yeah all these cases passed so guys this was all for this video see you next video till then keep watching keep learning